Hi everyone, this is Neil Reitertair, consultant, audiologist and director of Clearax. At this stage, I normally say thank you for joining me in my latest video. However, this procedure um, has not been performed by myself. Instead, it's been performed by a colleague of mine, Maxwell Vokes of Correct Hearing in Nottingham. Now, Maxwell, um, not only is he a colleague, but he's a very good friend. Uh, I'm very good friends with um, the entire uh, Vokes family. Um, so uh, not only... Um, uh, my friends with, with, with Max, friends with his brother and also his parents, Sarah and Ian, and I'll give his brother a shout out as well, not to feel left out. Well, he's got a couple of brothers, so to Adam and also uh, Freddie. And um, so Max is a qualified audiologist and he's been previously trained using the endoscope, the eye clear scope that uh, I, I normally use as well. And more recently, he's got trained with the wax scope. And I received a phone call um, this afternoon from Max and um, he just wanted to call to say thank you for developing the wax scope. And so he explained um, he had a procedure today uh, of this particular patient um, who's got extremely narrow ear canals, as you can see. And he initially uh, used an endoscope, but he found um, quite understandably quite tricky to uh, dilate the ear open um, with the endoscope, given how narrow it is. Um, and so he also uses head loops um, and he... And I similarly do this myself. I always um, enter the ear with the head just to see the view and compare it. And he said with the loops, it, it just wasn't, it wouldn't be possible to remove this. Um, he, the magnification was low. He wasn't able to visualise the wax. Um, he struggled to dilate it any more than what he has with the wax scope. And also, as soon as he entered with the instrument, because he had to use a very small specular size, he said the view was completely obliterated by the suction probe. So he couldn't actually see, see the wax, um, even though he was struggling to see the wax beforehand because the suction probe covered all the view. So he reverted to uh, the wax scope and um, he was just so pleased. So um, he's actually left a testimonial and uh, the patient of this procedure has also left uh, a review, which I've added it to the end. Now, um, Max uh, has got, f I've got full permission to upload this video by Max. And um, uh, in fact, he's very grateful that I'm going to be sharing it. And um, so the reasons why the, the wax get helped with this um, is that it did help dilate the ears somewhat. So it's still very narrow. You can see the suction probe only fits through. But another advantage of the wax scope is if you put away the magnification, of course, but we've got this slit, this slot at the top, which means the instrument is inserted via this slot, which means that it's not blocking the view. Traditionally, this suction tip will be in the middle of the specular because most specular don't have this slot at the top. But the fact that it's coming from a different angle of incidence in, in comparison to the optical axis, he still had full view. And it was, it's just an amazing progress by Max. He's going to be a fantastic audiologist. Um, uh, he's really, really developing his skills and he's always willing to learn. He's always sending me videos, asking for advice, which he's not shy to ask for. And I think it's brilliant to see. And he's going to be, yeah, he's already has got a fantastic technique when removing wax. And you can see he's got this out. And that did give him some feedback because I think he could have even dilated this ear bit more than he actually did uh, because you'll see in a moment he actually dilated it even further which is no mean um, feat itself to visualize the eardrum which wasn't f even fully visible given how narrow the patient's ear canal was so that was the only really advice I could give just be a bit more confident stretch the ear a bit more during the procedure because you were able to do it afterwards and um but yeah, I just felt the need to share this because I think it's just fantastic work and it's testament not only to Maxwell's skill and dedication and willingness to learn, but also um, this is why I've developed the wax scope. So you can see he managed to dilate it a bit more there on the left-hand side, he's pushed that cartilage and he's just going to get the eardrum in focus. Now, I apologise if the video quality is not great. When um, it's sent to me via WhatsApp and then I upload it, you do lose some of that quality. So I do apologise for that. But the, the video quality when Max is performing, it would be exactly the same in my clear wax, uh, wax good videos. And that's just all, all the testimonials Max gave and the testimony from the patient. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Take care, keep well and speak soon. Bye.